Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be covering the Import-Export add-on. The first step is to navigate over to Plugins on the left. Click Add New at the top. Click Upload Plugin. And simply drag and drop the zip file you downloaded from the WP Inventory Manager plugin website. Click Install Now. Activate plugin. If you navigate over to the settings page of WP Inventory Manager, you'll find a place to enter your import and export license key. Once you enter that and save your settings, you'll be ready to go. There are a few settings for import and export having to do with permissions of who can import and export your inventory items. And now you also see an import export menu item on the left. If we navigate there, we'll see options to export and import inventory. We'll start with importing. The import file must be a spreadsheet with a CSV extension. It can contain category information either as ID numbers or as category names. If you're using ID numbers, then the categories must exist in your system prior to the import. If you're using category names, then you can choose to have the import function automatically add any new categories that you're importing. Here's an example of an import spreadsheet where we have a heading row with all the names of the information followed by the actual information for each product of produce that we're going to be adding. Again, it's very important that you save it as a CSV file extension. Now we can simply drag and drop that CSV file onto the page, click Upload, and we'll be provided with a preview of what our information will look like when it's imported. Anything that doesn't match a name of an already established label will come up in yellow. We put date modified in hours, but if we just tell it to instead update the date updated, it will show up correctly. Let it know that our file contains a heading row, and if you have any categories that didn't already exist, you can ask it to create them here, and then click Import. And it says Success. Three records have been imported. You can then view our items, and we see the grapes, squash, and corn have all been added with the important information. We can also navigate into them manually to update inf any information we like, such as adding an image. And it'll be updated overall. With importing out of the way, let's talk about exporting. Clicking this button right here will export the entire list of inventory items. If we wish to only export a partial list, we just follow these steps where we view our inventory items, then perform a search, sort, or filter so that only the items we want to export appear in the list, and then click the Export Items button on the bottom of that page. You can search for the vegetables category only, and export our items down here. Choose where you'd like it to be saved. And then you'll be provided with a spreadsheet with all the information for your chosen export items in your inventory. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on importing and exporting. If you have any questions, as usual, please feel free to reach out to us via the support tab and the WP Inventory Manager plugin.